Here's what you not gonna do. Here's what you not gonna do. Not around me. Tighten up when I come through. Tighten up when I come through. I come through. Here's what you not gonna. 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 Tighten up when I come. 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 Here's what you not gonna. 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 Tighten up when I come. Tighten up when I come. Tighten up when I come. Tea in the shade. Hey, hey, how you doing, sippers? It's your favorite blogger's favorite blogger, your girl T in the shade. So right before the video started, you heard that little snippet that is from Snoop Dogg's 1993 album titled Doggy Style. That is legendary rapper Warren G. So as you can see, the word clout, it's not new. It's been around for quite some time. So um, I decided to do this video today just to give my brief of opinion about the word, or I should say the new drug that is referred to as clout. So let me go ahead and read this briefly. This is from Webster's Dictionary. The definition of clout, influence or power, especially in politics or business. Now, with that being said, there is very few people that claim to have clout that actually have it. We have certain rappers and influencers and then people refer to them as clout chasers or they claim to have quote unquote clout. But very few of these people have clout because clout is power. Clout is not popularity. And unfortunately the word clout has been misconstrued to mean popularity and those two words mean something completely and utterly different i mean people that have clout um benny medina has clout he has the power to control people's careers uh leo corn he has clout he has the power to control people's careers uh Nicki minaj has been accused of stopping people's bags so some may say she has clout but there, I'm not going to call anyone out because I don't want to give certain people the satisfaction of them being mentioned. But there are certain influencers and rappers that, and, that claim to have clout, and they don't have any clout. Like, I'll call out this uh, cultural appropriating waste of space known on uh, Instagram as Woe Vicky, I think that's what she calls herself. Um, this woman doesn't have any clout. She doesn't have the power to do anything. What does she have the power to do? Absolutely nothing. She has a huge following by appropriating black culture. So she has minions that follow her and applaud her. And because of this huge following, she's gotten, um, sponsorships from clothing brands and cars and makeup and shoes, et cetera, et cetera. But she has no clout because she has absolutely no power to control absolutely anything. So she has popularity, but she does not have clout. And I really want people to stop confusing those two things because they're completely and totally different. Like whether we want to admit it or not, Donald Trump has clout. Donald Trump has the power to control people's lives, people's jobs, people's livelihood, people's total situations. But Instagram influencers don't have clout. I'm sorry, there's not too many, and I mean, people may disagree, and that's absolutely fine, but um, I don't myself follow a lot of influencers, so I don't consider them, I just personally don't consider them having clout. When I think about people that have clout, I think about one of my dear friends, uh, legendary Houston rapper Trader Truth. Trader Truth has clout because Trader Truth has power to control and to change people's lives. Uh, Houston has awarded him time and time again for his relief gang efforts. He has clout. But tell me how much clout, I mean, just, you know, pick a random Instagram influencer and tell me how much clout they have. They have popularity, but they don't have any clout. And I really wish people would stop misconstruing these two things because the things that people are doing, people are literally, literally dying for this new drug that is being referred to as clout. People are losing their lives by doing, you know, death-defying stunts, by um, 
saying and doing things and moving a certain way on social media and in real life. And it's unfortunately costing them their lives. And it's really, really sad that we have come to this because it's not, it's really not worth it. I mean, I'm all for being famous, but why would you want to be infamous? Those things are two different things altogether as well. So I just wanted to kind of touch basis on the whole, you know, addiction to clout thing, just to, like I said, share my opinion. And like I said, I don't feel like people that think they have clout, they don't have any clout whatsoever. I mean, money gives you clout, absolutely, but you have to have a certain number. See, there's a difference between being wealthy and being rich. And people need to realize that because wealthy people have clout. They have the power to change things. Rich people, they have the power to probably influence people to do things, whether they be good or bad. They have the popularity to influence people to do things, whether good or bad, but they don't have clout. And it's really sad because I wish people that did have certain influence would use that influence to gain clout to change certain things. I mean, there's so much going on in the world that why not want to change the state of the world right now? Why not use your popularity or your influence to influence the greater good, to influence other things, to influence, you know what I mean? Lead a march on Congress, like do something for the greater good, not just, you know, let me be popular enough to do club hosting. And like I said, I'm not knocking anybody back. Hey, get your bag, sis. But just stop confusing popularity for clout. Those are two different things. So, I mean, it is what it is. That's my opinion. And as always, your favorite blogger's favorite blogger, your girl T in the shape. Love you. Here's what you're not going to 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 Tighten up when I come Tighten up when I come Tighten up when I come